Hello everybody, I'm Grower Don with Byron Branch. You know, every year Byron Branch grows and ships, you know, several thousand weeping cherries. And it's one of the most popular trees we grow and people are always asking us questions on how to prune. Now listen, it's middle of December here in Pennsylvania on the nursery and um, generally if I had my choice, I would prune all the weeping cherry in March. But with this kind of weather, we can't let this opportunity go. And I wanted to take the opportunity also to show you how to prune while the foliage was gone because I'll encourage you to do your weeping cherry before it flowers, before the foliage comes out. Now know when we prune prior to spring, we're going to end up removing flower buds. Uh, so that's the price of dormant pruning. But still, so we can see the structure and get to where we want to go, um, this is what Byron Branch recommends. Now on this weeping cherry, you can see it's ready for market, but we've got some branches starting to open up and those kind of things. And a lot of people want their weeping cherry to be formal more of an umbrella look and that's not the natural habit. The natural habit of the weeping cherry is that these branches will shoot out and it'll grow tall and the weeping cherry will get 25 feet tall, 15 to 20 feet wide and weep down all the way. So a weeping cherry doesn't stay low unless we determine that that's what we want. This is the graft union of the weeping cherry. Watch for this. Any growth above this graft is growth that we prefer. This is weeping cherry. Anything that happens below is just seedling weeping cherry, a uh, seedling cherry that is actually not weeping. So we want to remove any of these suckers that come out as the tree matures. Generally as a weeping cherry gets older, this is a less of an issue, but when it's young, you have to watch for this carefully. And I'll tell you, the number one problem in the home landscape is homeowners overlook that. Uh, and then what happens is this just takes off straight up and it's not pink and flowering um, and, and it's nasty. So watch for that graft union as you go. So now listen, on weeping cherry, I love the big overarching branches and I would want mine to grow up. But if you chose to keep it down in an umbrella shape, this is when you would do that. And you'd make selective cuts. So here's a branch that started up right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that one. And I'm going to be careful to stay away from this collar, this branch collar right here. You want to stay away from that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this, leave about a quarter of an inch, make a nice clean cut, stay away from that collar and leave that intact because that's where the healing will come from. By this time next May or June, you won't even notice that that cut has taken place. And then I'm going to look for other branches that are going that direction that we want to bring down. So here's one that I'm going to remove. And then I'm going to remove this one here. And you can see just with those three simple cuts, I've, now I've got this tree starting to look like the umbrella are coming. So now I'm going to come and I'm going to, I'm going to um, even this off on the bottom. And I'm going to cut evenly um, where the buds are. Select any bud. When I prune, I generally like to select a bud that goes to the outside. And you can see, I keep that about a quarter of an inch away from where that bud is. The tree will heal and that'll heal back slowly and eventually die off. This will flower and then send out a growth shoot that way towards the outside. If I left an inside bud, it would grow towards the inside. Now this tree, when it leaves out in spring, will look for me. Now, now know this, it will grow uh, very aggressively next, next year. I would expect some of this new growth actually to reach down to this level or further. But this same prune I did dormant uh, you can do in July of next year after the spring growth but before the flower bud set and maintain that formal formal shape if in if indeed that is your preference this is important for a young weeping cherry see this crossing branching later in life 10 or 15 years from now this limb this limb this limb will all be three and four inches in diameter and may cause trouble for each other so at this young stage it's important to come through and remove those crossing branches, create a little airflow. So now what, we're, what we do is we form our basic structure of the tree. We can grow that head out wide, make it look exactly like an umbrella and keep it there every year. So if that's your preference, that's the way to prune that one. 